Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Dope. So I actually bought Black Ops Six. I actually bought the um the vault pack just so I could get you know early access and get the beta and everything like that. I was gonna end up buying the game anyways. So what's an extra thirty dollars? Doesn't really mean much. Anyways, and the game already cost seventy dollars, which is basically crazy. I already know I'm gonna get the battle pass anyways, which is like extra ten dollars. So I'm pretty much already there. So. Anyways, I ended up buying it. Um, I played it just today because I bought it probably two days ago and then I had to re-download COD because I haven't played COD in like, I want to say like, it, 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 it's been a while, like maybe since like Black Ops, not Black Ops, since um, Modern Warfare 3, maybe like a couple months in after that. Since then, maybe a couple times I played Warzone with uh, some friends, but other than that, have not been playing COD. But anyways, I, th today's been my like only day playing it. Um, it ends tomorrow, but I think, well, early access ends tomorrow, and I think after that it just goes into beta mode. Um, so I still have some time to gather my thoughts and everything on it before it actually comes out in like October. But anyways, I just want to go over pretty much the good and the bad, at least from my perspective of me playing for the first time today. So I just want to start off with like this game pretty much feels like Cold War, like exactly the same as Cold War. The only difference is obviously like the movement is just a little bit different. So for if people didn't like Cold War, I feel like they're just not going to like this game. But I feel like a lot of people actually like Cold War. Um, so it basically feels like Cold War 2.0. But obviously other than that, going into the movement, which feels greatly different, Omni movement actually feels pretty good it's pretty solid it doesn't feel like they're i mean as of right now it feels kind of solid because like everybody's learning it right now so there's not a crazy crazy gap anywhere um like it's easy to maneuver like you run left right you know at an angle you can dive backwards slide backwards slide forward dive forward dive to the side so it doesn't feel that crazy it kind of reminds me of Defiant just a little bit it feels like it feels like COD knew that Defiant was taking taking people from it so they kind of adapted a little bit of that into it I, I have no idea maybe they already planned on doing this way way before but it feels like a little bit of Defiant but people did also like hate Defiant and all the like bunny hopping and stuff like that the movement feels like basically unrestricted which is what people have been asking for for the longest time it feels unrestricted but who knows after a while after people play for a long time then maybe it gets nerfed down just a little bit but right now it's um obviously in early access so people can just exploit everything so that people um well devs and things like that can just see where the flaws are at so honestly omni movement is even as bad as people think even like in my games people aren't even like doing that crazy of activities obviously like from the gameplay this one is my first game on so i don't think like there's definitely still skill based matchmaking but it didn't really even kick in yet until like later on but even then like people are talking about oh I, I just work my nine to five you know i'm you know i take a break from my kids i just want to play the game honestly if your skill like, like this is not even being like this if your skill base isn't that high, you, like, you're not going to run into people doing all these crazy, like, weird clips that you're seeing online. It's just not going to happen. Like, even in a couple games, like, people are just basically just playing regular and not even taking advantage of, like, the diving and things like that. People just, they'll, at most, like, strafe right, strafe left, like, running. That's, you know, anybody can do that. But other than that, it's, it's really not that bad. Pretty much, I'm, like, appreciative of the skill gap as of right now because like just think about it like if you go from black ops 1 to black ops 2 very similar games black ops 1 black ops 2 similar similar games at the time then you go from black ops 2 to black ops 3 instant skill gap so it gave people like a motivation motivation to like actually learn pretty much like everybody was getting to the same level then boom a new game different setup and everything like that that's basically what's happening now with Black Ops 6. Because I feel like Modern Warfare 3, 2019, 
Modern Warfare 2, very similar. Like, every lobby you get in is just sweat lobbies. Now, it just, now, it seems like it's a good thing, because, like, all the sweaty people that probably bought the vault, most likely, they're gonna all end up in, like, their own lobbies, most likely. And then everybody else is just gonna be in, you know, regular regular lobbies but obviously there's ways to get around skill base and things like that but it's cool bringing a, a skill gap back because like you know something new to actually achieve towards it's like when everybody just got really good at fortnite you know it wasn't really fun playing fortnite anymore but you know that's just my personal opinion um ttk is fine um it feels kind of balanced it doesn't feel like too crazy i just know that the jackal the like obviously the pre-order gun that everybody's been pretty much using i started using it too just a little bit just to get a feel for it that one is broken right now the ttk in it is actually like broken doesn't make any sense like you die in like four four or five bullets everything else is like you know average six seven maybe five depending on where you get hit if it's headshots and things like that but jackal right now is broken everything else is pretty much fine i'm happy that they brought like end screens back from like black ops 3 like taunts it's the little things they count it, you know it's cool it's just little things sniping also seems to be more accurate with damage and not like speed because i haven't been able to like accurately like enhance and go through all the setups for everything to make it as fast as possible or slow as possible or whatever i'd be doing because usually sniping is you know my go-to but sniping literally seems accurate hitting like long distance shots short distance shots they seem to actually you know do the correct damage and not like oh why did i get a hit marker that doesn't make sense um quick scoping seems fine but at the same time i still don't have my own setup so we'll, we'll see in the future with that not 100 percent kill streak seem fine too they don't seem too crazy um, but the only thing is they seem a little bit higher, um, compared to everything else. I don't know if that's just me, but it seems like it takes a lot longer to get like a UAV or like a chopper, but maybe that's because they wanted to limit like UAV spams and like counter spams, like in past gods, which makes sense. But even then it's like for like the higher tier, like kill streaks, maybe just lower them a little bit instead of like keeping everything high range like uav being a little bit high okay that makes sense because it used to be like three kills and now like since they count points into everything you know it's a lot easier so that's pretty much just the good nothing too crazy um the gameplay is you know fine for now nothing like outrageous that i thought it was gonna be when i first started but it you know it feels good the bad though is these textures it might just be me but the textures on the load screen the textures in game sometimes the end game it just doesn't load it might just be beta right now and that's really the reason why like early access but they just don't load um sometimes like textures on cars won't load or like the ground just doesn't load in when i start the game and like even like that with starting the game like it starts me like it doesn't happen often but it, like it will start me literally like eight eight ten kills like deep into the game even though i started with everybody else but i just don't get loaded in with everybody else i load in when people already started playing and i think that has to do with like the the pack packet bursts and like textures loading because it's still trying to process on my end maybe my freaking pc just sucks and maybe that's why but literally everybody will already be in the game, just already playing, and then it's just me just sitting here waiting, still trying to pick my weapon that I'm trying to use to even spawn in there. Um, another problem is, like, the spawns, man, they're just not good. For some reason, they're never good anymore. They have not been good in a long time. Like, this map that I'm specifically playing on right now, um, Derelict, I think it's called, it doesn't make sense that you have two endpoints and I'll get to the lanes a little bit later. But it doesn't make sense that you have two endpoints. 
obviously of where spawns are supposed to be but at the same time you have people spawning in the middle of the map like in the alleyway so you have people spawning at both endpoints and then at the same time people spawning towards mid map so that just causes you to spawn near literally anybody and then even going into other people's spawns you'll still spawn next to them the amount of times I died to one person because I kept spawning next to him is actually ridiculous. And I don't understand why in every COD spawns are just always a problem. This is not even a small map. I will get it if it's like small map like Pit. But like this one is is a decent sized map. I mean you can see both endpoints from certain perspectives but it still doesn't make sense. Spawns, you know, spawns bad. That, that's pretty much it. I don't, I, I, I don't know why. Speaking of spawns, like the maps are kind of eh. Like, they're not bad maps. They're not bad maps, but they're not good maps. I don't know if it's just the lanes that aren't good, or if it's just the map designs. I don't know. It's just, like, nothing, no maps really, like, just stand out anymore. It's just everything feels, I don't know, just copy-paste of just nonsense. Like, at the same time, the maps aren't terrible. But I know if you ask me in like a couple years, like, oh yeah, what name two maps on Black Ops 6, at least right now. I'm just saying right now, maybe they'll grow on me, maybe eventually, you know, I, I feel like the same thing happens for a bunch of, bunch of maps back then. But I know they're also bringing back old maps, but it's crazy that they can't make good original maps anymore, that they have to keep bringing back remastered old maps for people to still enjoy playing COD on certain maps. Um, also for the negative, sniping feels just a little bit slow. I feel like that's not going to appeal to most people, but sniping feels slower. It's still decent, like it's not Cold War speed. Um, Black Ops 3, it was kind of eh. Not, I keep saying Black Ops 3. Modern Warfare 3, all these freaking retitled names are just throwing me off. Modern Warfare 3, it was kind of okay, but like... I don't know, maybe it's just the attachments as of right now. Even like 2019 had fast sniping. Um, Modern Warfare 2 fast sniping. Like decent sniping. And it just seems like they kind of went backwards again. Which, devs hate quickscoping. They, like, they literally do. They try to nerf snipers as much as possible. But try to keep it balanced at the same time. But it causes issues with literally just everybody hating snipers. But as of right now, they're okay. They're not the greatest. But, you know, that's... We're going to see later on when we unlock more attachments and things like that. Um, but honestly, other than that, that's pretty much it. I've only played it for the day, so, you know, I can only say so much about it. Um, beta comes out, I think, in a couple days. Um, and then after that, it's pretty much until release time, and then we'll see whatever they fix. The game's fun. I know none of my friends are going to play it because... They don't like COD. Even Ixtra. I don't know if he's actually going to get COD because he said he was going to get this one because he skipped the last one. He, that's why I didn't play Modern Warfare 3 like that because I had no one to play with. But at the same time, people don't like playing with me because my lobbies are stupid. Literally, my friends do not like playing with me because my lobbies are freaking cracked every single time. And I understand. It's like if it's going to be like that all the time, I get why not playing. That's why I say give her the skill-based matchmaking, but then... You, know, you have your complaints about that that I don't want to talk about because it's the same argument every year. Uh, I'm just waiting for zombies too. I just can't wait to play zombies. Even though when I was watching zombies and watching all Mr. Waffle Waffle videos and stuff like that about it, it seems like zombies went reverse too. I was super excited for zombies, made a whole reaction to the trailer and everything like that. But then they show Liberty Falls and then it just looks like... Zombies on a multiplayer map, which looks like Cold War. Cold War Zombies is fine, but it's just, it's not it, bro. I don't know. Maybe the official maps are going to be look better and like actually have that zombie feeling. But right now it's like just DMZ, Outbreak, it's those kind of vibes, but we'll see. But anyways, thanks for listening to me, Ramble. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe. All right, peace out.